What's going on guys? My name is Trey. Welcome to What Kind of Change. Today we are going to be talking about a uh, subject that Abba and Preach covered and I think it's very important and it even struck a nerve with me uh, in a good way. Um, before we begin, please like and subscribe if you uh, are enjoying the channel. If not, that's cool. We're also working our way towards the PC soundboard. So if you want to help donate, here's my cash app. We appreciate you. We love you. Thank you. All right, let's get right to the video. Let me get it to the point. And there we are, DJ. All right, we're going to start just a little bit ahead, and I'm going to go into it. To my platform in order to get you guys what y'all oh, need. Oh, it's not going to make any sense. You can go watch the video yourself, but this is talking about, um, you know, Fresh and Fit getting demonetized. They go into how they feel about it, um, but they make a very good point towards the end. So why would I jeopardize everything I'm working on, the money for my family, the money for my people, for my initiatives, for my community? Why would I, why would I jeopardize that so I could argue with two reasons? And this is what I'm saying. I think creators are some of the dumbest people on the planet. And if they're not dumb, okay, they're so ego-driven, right, that they think they're untouchable. And I'm like, nigga. You're on somebody else's platform. You don't have any equity in this thing. You have no rights in this thing. They can literally delete you anytime they want. What do you have to base your ego off of? That's why I be telling folks, this shit could get deleted at any point. If it does, I'm just walking. I have no power when it comes to this platform. Now, sure, there's probably ways I can retain it through websites and off-platform things and little things. Even going to Rumble, you have no equity in the bitch. So people acting like they're a boss. That's why I look at creators sometimes and I laugh. You're not untouchable. Yeah, so the first thing I want to say is that kind of hit me, man, because I talked a couple days ago talking about how easily I could be unmonetized because I decided to um, follow my morals, right? Listen, there, and I this is the lesson that's hard to learn here on uh, YouTube, but there is money to be made here and there's money to um, get into. It is important not to let your ego Get in front of that. I can get on here on YouTube and talk all I want, talk all the mess I want, and just be crazy and just and then complain when YouTube doesn't monetize me. Now, like I've said before, I try my best to be nice about the things I say, right? It's not like like if I have a disagreement with somebody, I try not to be like I try not like to bash them. I need to put my headphones up better, but we'll do that in the next video. I try not to bash them. I try not to make them look foolish. So I try never, never to be hateful, but I am honest. But there is times where I feel like my ego could definitely get in the way. There's a lot of times that we see this with people who work at a certain job, right? They'll talk about how, they'll talk about how, oh, you know what? I should be able to do what I want. I should be able to say what I want. This is free speech and all that kind of stuff. And you're absolutely correct. But free speech does not mean that people are going to pay you to talk. You know, if you feel like you're going to say something dumb, if you feel like you want to go get crazy, fine. You know, I talked about how Matt Walsh got demonetized because they disagreed with what he was saying, right? And fair enough, he still gets paid. You know, the YouTube money is great, but he gets paid from also his company. There, But even I see other people in Daily Wire, your Candace Owens, Brett Cooper, Michael Knowles, even they learn to be like, okay, we can fight this every single day. Or and lose money, or we can just play this smart. If you feel like you have to say something that YouTube doesn't agree with, there's no point of putting it up on YouTube just for you to get your channel demonetized or deleted. If they choose to do it regardless because they just disagree with something you said, I mean, it is what it is. But to go out of your way and test YouTube, I think it's foolish. So even for myself, if, I, if YouTube came out and said to me now, said, hey, look, you got to relax on the trans stuff a little bit, um, I would still talk my... I would still talk my piece, but I would just upload it to uh, X, right? I would just upload it on X and bygones be bygones. And that's why I've been doing that now. Um, it's not that I want, it's not like I'm cowering to YouTube, but there is a platform to be able to talk to you people. And I can always say, hey guys, if you want to hear me talk more about this, you want me to get deeper, just go to X. I talk deeper about it there. Or I can say, hey guys, if you, if you don't have an X account, you can go over the rumble. I talk deeper about this particular subject over there, right? I have a specific video that I made over there that you guys can have my, tr my truer feelings, right? But it's foolish for me to use my ego and come over here and be like, I'm going to talk however I want. And they complain if I'm not monetized. This money could help 
it's I probably never gonna make a ton of money on YouTube. Like I said, guys, I like working a nine to five. I don't mind working my nine to five. I'm very close to doing the job I would really enjoy. Um, and we'll find out in the next two weeks if I've got all the way through the uh, hiring process. And if I do, I will tell you guys. But I have a job that I've been wanting for a while, right? So I'm fine working my nine to five. So, But at the same time, any extra money is extra money. So even though uh, I could sit here and complain about how YouTube can say this or that, I think it is dumb to let my ego get in the way. If I feel like I have to talk about something that YouTube wouldn't approve of, I'll just go to a different platform and post the video there. And you guys can watch it over there. Just like people have Patreons, just like people have locals, I'll do. I'll put my stuff over on X and I'll put my stuff over on Rumble. If you guys choose to watch it, cool. If you don't, cool. Um, but, you know, I just think that's smart. I want to uh, talk about one more part that they mentioned here. We'll start it a little bit further back. Um, so he could go and raise his hand with white supremacy. Business. And this is not even a fresh, this is just a money thing. Some of you guys are going to throw away your whole lives because your ego. You want to throw your careers away because your ego. You work as a lawyer, but you want to be out here having videos of yourself saying the most foul things and publishing on TikTok. Why? Because your ego, you need to be heard saying dumb shit. You want to jeopardize your whole fucking degree. You want to jeopardize your career, everything you've built. Why? So you can be on TikTok for free. It's like that, that, that doctor. Not even for free. You're going to cost yourself 80 to 90 to 100 plus K a year. That doctor. That doctor that got, that, that lost her whole life. The doctor lost her whole life, her whole life license. Like, do you understand that she cannot practice no more? Because she wanted to be on TikTok. She can't, she can't practice. She got to find another job. Mm -hmm. She got to close down her clinic, everything. Yeah. Not only that you're costing the job of your employee, mm -hmm. but you're done yeah. for life. Yeah. Find yourself something else to do. So right there, they were talking about the therapist, the therapist, the black therapist. Um, I'm saying black, so you know which therapist I'm talking about. It was a black therapist who got online and she went in, She went after men, essentially. Essentially, it said that men, you need to do this to do that. And within saying that, she kind of um, ruined the confidence of the, her clients. Her clients ended up complaining to the company and saying, this is the therapist you have. This supposed to be talking about this person doing therapy and they're talking. It sounds like they might put my stuff on blast. And me as a man who goes to this individual, I don't know if she actually cares. And so she got her whole license ripped away and she started an OnlyFans. I don't know if she's still doing it. But as far as we know, she said she was starting an OnlyFans. So she lost all this money just to get on TikTok and be dumb because of her ego. She easily could have backed down. When she first got called out, she could have said, you know what? This is dumb. Hey, guys, look, I said some things I didn't mean. I said some things that um, was a mistake. Let me just clarify. I'm not saying that men, blah, 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 whatever her apology could have been. That would have been a good thing to do. But see, what I think happens, and this is even in my own head, us people who don't tend to really push the envelope like that, we get upset with people like your Logan Pauls. We do. We get upset with your people like your Jake Pauls, your Shane Dawson's, your uh, what's whatever her name was, uh, the girl who played the ukulele. I forgot her name. Uh, Y'all know her name. <laughs> we get upset with these people because like, why can they do so much wrong and still get paid Buku's amount of money? And uh, do things wrong to people that we don't agree. But if I say just one thing wrong, my money is gone. Right. I'm demonetized. That's ego, friend. You can't sit. You can't use your whole life to sit and think about how this person can make money because they got so many different avenues that you don't. It's OK. Um, so even me. And I am a what I am an outspoken person. I don't tend to back down. Um, when it comes to my beliefs. And I will stick to those beliefs. However, if YouTube comes, and I would hope YouTube would at least say this to me, uh, but you never know. But if YouTube comes and says, hey, Trey, you got to calm down talking about some of this stuff, you know, it, it's coming off as offensive or hate speech. Then, okay, I'll be like, all right, I'll just put that stuff on a different platform. I'm not going to let my ego get in the way of a platform that I don't own, Right. If, if that's how it is, that's how it is. That's not me backing down or being a coward. That's just me being, well, I got I to gotta be smart about it. If I want to talk about something specific, I'll just put it I'll just put it on another website. You know, I'll just put it somewhere else. Um, I'll, we see a lot of people do that. A lot of people start their own website and put their videos over there. Or they have locals or they have Patreons. You know, just do that, man. 
Just do that. If your people really mess with you like that and they really care to hear your opinion on that, they'll go over to your locals. They'll go over to your Patreon. They'll go over to another website and watch the video. Um, Michael Knowles, we watched a whole video on the trans widow. He had to put that on X, right? Because YouTube considered it um, hate speech or hateful or something like that along those lines where they wouldn't monetize it. So it was smarter for him not to get a strike or anything just to go put it over on X. And it still got, I think... Hundreds of thousands of people watched it, so it's not a big deal. X is a good way to, and if X starts coming out and say, "Hey, we hate it," we gonna have to navigate, baby. But we gotta be smart. There's no point of getting your whole self deplatformed or demonetized for where nobody can ever see you again, right? And that's the problem that Fresh and Fit made. They decided to go and do that dumb stuff over there on Rumble, do all the copyright shikes. And they finally got taken away. Now there's no money to be made at all, right? That was a ton of money because their egos got in the way. They couldn't let go. They had to keep saying that stuff. And now that type of money is probably not going to come back to them. Can they make money? Of course. They'll make money on Rumble, but will it be the YouTube money? Probably not. And they could have had both. They could have made money on Rumble and YouTube, but now one's completely gone. And so after watching this video, I am going to also do my best to, like I said, normally I don't think my videos come off as hate speech because I, I always talk from a fact place and not a hateful place um, of what I believe, you know. Um, but I'm going to try to be, res if, I, if it gets out of hand, I'll try to be more respectful the best I can. That's not me cowering down. That's not me giving in. That's not the matrix. That's me being smart. I can't be stupid. I'm a businessman at the end of the day, too. I know I don't get, I, you know, I've, the blessings I've got in my life is because I've stayed out of trouble. For the most part in my life, I have stayed out of trouble. I don't I don't have a criminal history. I didn't rob people. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff, at least in my adult life. Have I made mistakes? Of course I have. I've told you guys about losing vehicles, being evicted, stuff like that. I've made dumb financial problems, but I've done my best to stay out of criminal, uh, the criminal system. Right. I've, I've done my best to not commit crimes. I've done my best not to create too many enemies. I try to stay out of trouble because I know my life matters. I'm able to do certain jobs that certain other people can't do. That's why I've been able to work with kids for so long and all these things because I've always stood on my morals. I've always stood on my faith, right, to be the best person I can. I, don't, I never got involved in drugs that could ruin my ability to ever work with schools. I've never done anything crazy like drink and drive or something like that that can keep my ability from ever being able to work in schools or work at other, another certain job, like working for the police department or being a firefighter or being EMT. That stuff matters. And though I have an ego just like everybody else, I try now. Back then, maybe I say in my 20s wasn't the best, but now I would say I do my very best to net, like, not let my ego get in the way. So thank you, Abba and Preach, for mentioning this. Because even I was getting caught up in, I'm going to say what I want to say. And that's just stupid. And it is dumb. I was being dumb. And I was being stupid. So let me try my best to continue to grind over here on YouTube. But I, I'll, I'll have, sometimes guys, I may have to put a video on another platform. But that's just, that's just life. And if they ever do just take me away, it is what it is too. You know what I mean? All right. Appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is your ego worth it? That's really the question.